So all this energy and all this enthusiasm about Kyle right now is he's ranked above the current world champion. Kyle's predicted to win right now. Uh, I'm Kyle Russ. I'm originally from Long Island, New York, and I've been working for Trek Bicycle for just over five years now. I'm really excited to race this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a fast-paced race. It's going to be really technical. I've worked really hard to make it to the level that I'm at. I think he's unbeatable. Um, he will be so fast in the turns and um, we did everything on training, but uh, I don't think we will be good enough for uh, just to catch his wheel. I'm just happy to be in the same event as the pros. I'm really just hoping to hang on for about 30 to 35 minutes of the hour. I uh, search him on YouTube and uh, see some videos and uh, I saw enough. It's going to be a hard day in the saddle. <laughs> yeah. I started racing cyclocross four years ago and it's been a really fun and very rewarding experience. Kyle, hey. did you do something with your hair? It looks uh, different. Yeah, yeah, I just got a cut. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I heard you're racing. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see you. Oh, cool. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> no, I don't really think there's any additional pressure uh, as a as an elite rider for Trek. Whoa, Kyle. Hey. Dude, I heard the big news. CXC Cup this yeah, weekend, right? Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Okay. 2,000 employees counting on you to get it done. Don't screw up. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think nerves really get to Kyle. You know, he's he's pretty solid character. Uh, he's been racing for a long time. I don't think pressure is an issue for him. Hey, Kyle. Good luck with the race, man. Hey, thanks, Steven. Appreciate that. I really don't know about this fan club. Um... <laughs> They're European, so you know we're in America. It's different courses, definitely harder, maybe. I know the pace is going to be really hot. We have the world's fastest riders here. Obviously, working at track, I hear a lot of buzz and gossip, um, and one name keeps coming up is Kyle Russ. He doesn't look like much. You look at him, especially on the look side, but. He's got something inside of him that you can tell he's, he's special. We've got months of preparation behind us and just, I think, a few more final adjustments on Kyle's bike and he's ready to prove that he's amongst the world's best. I am riding a Trek Boone this year. Um. They're getting there. Just a few more adjustments here. Yep, bike's ready to go. I'm currently working on a second wheel set. Kyle's the example. Off the bike, he's cordial and respectful to the other racers. Kyle's, Kyle's dialed. This is his home court. Um, he knows the course backwards and forwards. He knows the competition. I, I think you can expect a, a, a win. I definitely don't think that I have any tricks hidden up my sleeve. I'm just going to do my best. I just saw Kyle. He's looking good today. Oh, no oh, worry. Man. Yeah, you need to be worried. My most advantageous feature out here is, is by far the flyover. It's all about keeping your momentum up, keeping that speed up, and I really think I can pass some people uh, with this feature. Uh, yeah, there's some prize money here, but it, it's it's a it's a measuring stick. You know, how do you stack up against Kyle? Is why they're here. Just, just going through the race in my head right now. Um, just thinking about each turn after the next turn. There is one uh, big problem today, and uh, that's Carl Russ. Is he the new Sven Nays? Well, it seems like, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, good luck. Thanks. Strength. But if you try and 
cut the right hander too short, you're you're turning. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. If you try and cut that corner too soon, you'll be turning. If I were to give anyone advice for going into a race that's maybe the biggest one they've ever ridden in, I would say just try and remember that you have trained for this. Stay calm, and that will lead to a really great race for you. It's going to be like Kyle Russ crosses the finish line, and then you wait and wait, and then and maybe a Belgian comes in, maybe a German, whoever. And then they're in second and third.